Okay, example 18. Factorize minus 12x squared plus 20 plus x. And remember, we have to rearrange the terms such that we have a descending order of x in the expression. Therefore, we move this x term in the middle. And we have a minus 12 in the x square as the coefficient of the x square. Therefore, we take out the minus 1 here. We have minus bracket 12x square minus x minus 20. Remember, we have to change the sign here because we have taken out minus 1 as the common factor. And now we can list out the factors of 12x square and minus 20. We can have 12x times 6 or 6x times 2x or 4x times 3x. And for minus 20, we can have minus 20 plus 1 or plus, that's right, plus 20 minus 1 or minus 10 plus 2 or plus 10 minus 2 or minus 5 plus 4 or plus 5 minus 4. And in this problem, the middle term is minus x. Therefore, after selecting the correct pair of factors and cross multiply, we have to make up the term of minus x. But now our problem is, how can we screen out all those unlikely factors? There are so many here, so many here. And in fact, we have two hints in finding the correct pair of factors. The first hint is the size, again, it's the size of the middle term. We have minus 1 here. And therefore, the two numbers which result from the cross multiplication should be quite similar. Uh, they should be quite similar so that they can cancel out and give minus 1 here. And the second hint will be the odd number. Uh, we have this check whether the middle term is an odd or even number. And since minus 1 is an odd number, done so. And we all know that we cannot add or subtract two even numbers to get an odd number. And only we can get an odd number out of one odd number and one even number. And we can draw a very simple diagram to illustrate the point. If we have two even numbers, and then subtract or add together, we can all we we always get an even number. We have no chance to get an odd number. And if now we have an odd number, that means we have one even number and one odd number, such that when they add or subtract each other, they will give an odd number. And so we can now cross out all those pairs of factors which are both even numbers, which is 6x, 2x, they are both even numbers. They won't cross multiply to get an odd number. And again, minus 10 plus 2, they are both even numbers. And plus 10 minus 2, they are both even numbers. And this is what we get from the second hint. We check the odd and even numbers of the pair of factors. And for the first hint, we check the size of the number. Since the middle term is minus 1, then therefore very large or very small numbers, it is not, they are not likely to give minus 1. And therefore we can cross out, safely cross out 12x times x, uh, minus 20 plus 1. They are either too large or too small. And the first, and then plus 12, uh, plus 20 minus 1, 2. And now what's left behind? It's just only two to three to four pairs of factors. And then if we inspect carefully, we have minus x, therefore, what? 4x times minus 4, we have minus 16x. And then plus 5 multiplied by 3x, 
we have plus 15x. And therefore, minus 16 plus 15x, we have minus x. And now we come up with the pair of factor like this. Plus 5 minus 4 minus 16x plus 15x giving minus x. And therefore now we can write the answer as 4x plus 5 times 3x minus 4. And so we have two strategies for doing cross method. First, the first one, we have to consider size, the size of the coefficient of x term. And the second one, which is much more important, is that we should consider the odd or even property of the middle x term. And look that uh, two even numbers cannot give an odd number. If you have an odd number, x term, uh, uh, odd number uh, in the x term, you should have one odd number and one even number.